So one of the things that I think of when I think of expanding sensors at the wellhead is there's a good analogy to the car industry. And when we think of a modern car today, they actually have dozens of sensors on them. And these sensors are sometimes cameras, sometimes they're distance sensors, uh, sometimes they're diagnostic sensors around the engine. But there's lots of reasons we put sensors in these cars to help us drive the car better, to help the performance of the car, and to help maybe the safety for the driver. So we think of something that maybe alerts you to a lane change when uh, you didn't intend to make a lane change. Or now we have automatic braking control so the car can actually stop before we hit something. These are all done with sensors and without sensors being put into the car, none of these things can be achieved. So when I take that and I apply that to an oil well, I think of kind of how far behind in essence we are to other industries. And on a uh, rod pumping system today, typically you have two sensors. You have a load sensor and you have a position sensor. And so it's very limited in terms of the amount of information that we can pull back. And don't get me wrong, we can do a lot with load and position. And we can understand what's happening with the downhole pump and there's a lot of things we can detect, but it's still quite limited. And so some of the opportunities I think that are there are around environmental. And so leaks are a big thing and it's becoming a bigger thing to make sure that we're not leaking that and to clean up our industry. And so one of the opportunities to do that, one of the sensors uh, or inputs we'd like to use is cameras. And so cameras can tell us uh, through an image, can tell us whether there's a leak. We can use artificial intelligence to detect that leak at some point. Um, and, um, and that technology is really available to us. We just have to basically implement that at, at the wellhead.